Hi guys, welcome to this system. It's ArchLinux. It's based on ArchLinux and with some configurations and some great AOR applications, which stands for the ArchLinux user repository. You have a complete system and we're at this point in time left of them. I'm making this video because of the fact that we have reached incredibly amount of videos. So I've made 3,000 videos on ArcLinux, right? 3,000 videos on ArcLinux. And prior to that, I've made so many videos about ArchLinux and about Linux Mint and so on and so on. Topic of the video is then news. So let me shut, yeah. Let me first get rid of all this. What is all that? Nope, thank you very much. So go to the channel and let us introduce ArcLinux for the first time maybe, right? What is ArcLinux? ArcLinux is a university. We want you to become masters in Linux and we have to start somewhere. The Debian machine and OpenSUSE machine, many people take different path, paths, but at some point in time, you, you find something, you stick to something and you say, oh my God, this is interesting, but maybe a little bit too technical. Let's be honest about that. The Arch Wiki is super interesting, but there is, they try to be complete, which results sometime into, oh my God, how do I have to even install this operating system installation guide? So there are pathways. I am a teacher by profession, right? And I see Arclinix as a teaching project. How do I get people motivated to jump ship from Mac, from Windows to Linux, any Linux, right? We just happen to be based on of working on an Arch Linux based system. And that's the choice of that was of course also this one. And the second choice was the servers. They are fast. I don't like to wait for updates. So the Arch Linux servers can be, choose, can be chosen from continent to continent, for, from city to city. So you have the fastest uh, connection and there's a little bit of packages coming from Arch Linux, from Arch Linux and that's it. So in the main stream packages, 90% of Arch Linux is Arch. We started this project, so how do we get to 3,000 videos, right? So this is 2,999. The video I'm now recording is number 3,000. So it's all organized in playlists. Huh? So the, the knowledge that we share is on YouTube. Why? Because it's free. YouTube is free, right? But we do spend your money, your donations, we spend them on websites, articlinux.info is where the information is, right? Info, where should I download? What is this? What is this learning path? What do I want to do? Where do I start learning? I just jump into DWM or will I first take something desktop like? So the switch from Windows to Linux, maybe XFC4 or Mate or Cinnamon, but not a tiling when I manage it, that's for later. So all kind of and interviews as well, reviews, interviews, testimonials, releases, all kinds of information. This is just information. When you start learning, you go to these websites. You go learn about Arcolex, about XFC, but also about very, well, first of all, get, um, get the knowledge, right, to install it. And later on you say, I would like to know more about the language or how to set the menus or etc. So topics, you just choose the topic you're interested in at that particular moment in time. And then you can keep on going and more focus more on a desktop. So a desktop is like Windows 8 or Windows 10 or Windows 11 or um, prior to that XP. That's a desktop and it changes a little bit. And we have in phase one XFCE, but there are other interesting things. And later on, more things. There are, I think, 30 main desktop slash tiling window managers 
to visit and to learn. So the learning path is not one of a week. The learning path is one of three years. Like a normal university study, three to four years and you can you graduate. So don't scoop up too much knowledge, right? Just go with the flow and first of all, just subscribe here and just follow one video, then the next video. You don't have to watch all 3000, right? Use the search. People use the search of YouTube. No, no, right? Go to our channel and just choose this one. I have a problem with Grub, okay. You need to learn, of course, a little bit of technical terms. What's Grub, what's Pipewire, what's Pulse Audio, stuff like that. Then Archwick is there as well. How do they manage the sound? Everybody knows the word sound. How do they manage the sound? Sound system, drivers, optional, ALSA, OSS, check. Uh-huh, Pipewire, Pulse Audio. And you start reading. And trust me, you won't get it the first time. Read it again. Later on, a year later, you read it again. And more and more, you'll find out that you are becoming more a Linux expert. Give it time, like any study, give it time. There are also playlists which you can have a look at. So we try to focus on a particular thing and then say, okay, let's put all these in inside one particular playlist so you can watch everything from i3 or everything from BSPWM. Those are desktops. Okay. So, we were looking at these things to so the learning path. We're actually kind of following that, right? Learning path, we're here. And then we have the Articlinks B website. The B stands for building. At some point in time, you asked us, can you provide us how you build these ISOs, how you build these operating systems? And then we give you the power to add games on it, or browsers, or uh, editors, anything you like, you learn how to build your own ISO up here. You can make your own packages and put it on your own personal repo. There are other ways to put personal stuff on the ISO. So this is about, well, more advanced people knowing already, okay, these are the puzzles, these are the pieces, these are the Lego blocks, I need to have an operating system. And they're all on one ISO, the ISO is just a CD. Eh? And that's what you want to accomplish. But this is further down the university, this is the third year or fourth year of university, this is build your own ISO, you have your opinion, how should an operating system, how should it look and how, what application do you want, etc. That's this. But this is, well, still very small changes. This one is starting from scratch. Let's build an ISO, let's build an operating system, let's build a distro from one application, Arch ISO. And let's build something more, and let's build something more. We keep on adding stuff, creating, learning how Calamaris works, understanding why these messages, these error messages are there. So this is even further down, let's say, let's call this in the first year of the university, really binge watching everything because only this one works. This one was three, four years ago that we started it. So these packages do not exist anymore. But you see, and that's more important, What's the workflow? What's the reasoning behind all the things we do? It's more important. And what are the tools? Melt is a great tool to compare. It's easy, fast to work with Melt to do your job. That's comparing. And this is an, an image of Melt. Old, new, what changed? So this is quite technical, right? And the same goes for ALCI and Arisers, which are both spin-offs of the same knowledge, saying, okay, let's do an ALCI, an Arch Linux Calamaris installer. So we, we, we are, in this case, in this project, we have the idea, we have knowledge of Calamaris, 
we have Arch Linux. Can we combine them? That's it. Nothing more. No packages, no configurations, nothing more. Just combination of some things. And 83 articles. Again, a very advanced expert class. How to build your own proper distro. Based purely on Arch and purely on Calamaris and all the rest. We keep off, it's, 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 it's raw material. And this one, a riser, I happened to come across a guy, PicoDev, and the, let's go to here, the Alice project is from PicoDev, I call him PicoDev, right, development Pico.dev. He's the guy who says, let's make a script. Let's have pure Arch, so we're still talking about the Arch Linux base always, right? The Arch Linux base. Let's use that ISO and put in the scripts. These scripts, 15 days ago. So he's updating, updating. We have feedback, we have discussions, and we go and we talk about the discussions. Here's the AA ISO, the Arch Linux, and this is my name, right? So this is the, we an old name, right? AA ISO is not indeed renamed to a riser now so it's all about growing for myself right starting off with and let's go back five years and starting from arch labs learning how to build isos going to arch merge xl uh, xfce openbox i3 on one um, iso so a combination of let's do it easy, the easy way is XFCE, a little bit more difficult, open box and then I3, a tiling winner manager. That was the idea, one ISO to combine three. Then he said, guys, um, we would like to have a very minimal ISO. That was the Articlinx D. And then later on he said, okay, wouldn't it be nice if Articlinx B came to existence, if we would only have Plasma, only XFCE, only Awesome. And these names that I'm now saying are the names of all the dist all the, the desktops that we have, right? FWM, Plasma, Qt, Fish, CWM, all the desktops, 28 or or something like that. And that's when that came into existence. Later on, we've made an LTS and an XS, so different kind of um, ISOs. So Arc Linux editions is probably the best way to get an overview of things extra large extra small things uh, like that like this give you an oversight of what's in there and we've tried to do it here as well with an infographic but in the end it's just try it right on virtual box on vmware anything first try it on something like that and then later on okay looks good fine then you install it on real metal and you learn about drivers video drivers amd drivers open source proprietary and of course it's all explained it's all documented so you can all find it on all the websites many websites here start here how do i install it learning path bias ufi pre-installation and finally we can install it and then post installation what should i do after the installation must read now what right so these are the things, always these um, start here things. Look at them first and then you say, okay, fine. Got a message, that's the point, that's the goal. And of course the goal is in the end to make you a Linux expert. That's it, and free of charge, right? It's a university that's just free. It gives you so much knowledge and so many hooks for later to jump to, I don't know, uh, other distributions that you learn on university or you want to explore yourself as a hobby. But it's um, it's good to have this overview of possibilities and the system D will come and other uh, distros as well and stuff like that. You get a, a general knowledge of how an operating system actually works. And once you get that over that level of expertise that level of expert that I, I'm, I don't know how to express it there is some at some point in time you get the feeling that you own the operating system that you own arsenal is that you get it not maybe in, in minute details but in general you can maintain and recover from issues and you are 
in control that's it if you have the feeling at some point in time you get a feeling i am in control that's why that's what we should uh, strive for what we should get at at this level of feeling that okay this is gonna be my my basic um, work my basic distribution my basic basic um, os whether it's later on endeavor os which is Arshalix, whether it's later on Garuda, which is based on Arshalix, and there are 50 others, right? We have a tool, which is interesting to talk about, and the tool is called the Arshalix 3 tool. It's down here. So Arshalix 3 tool, we should change the name here. And it's basically ready for 15, at this point in time, 15 Arshalix based distros. And that's the fun. Once you start learning Arconlix, there's no at some point in time, right? Just keep stick to it and learn and learn and learn. You can jump ship. I say, okay, let's do something else. Let's find something else because uh, many of our users, in, in general, Linux users, are uh, distro hoppers, as they call. But you can stick to the basics. Arch Linux, and then you still have such so so many. I don't know. 20, 30 distributions that are based on Arch Linux and learn about them. And specific tools or specific applications or specific scripts. And the learning never ends. And that's actually the message for us. Uh, learn, have fun while you're learning and later on just enjoy the operating system, do your thing with it, right? So learn, have fun and enjoy is one of the major um, things that we keep in mind always. And another thing is good vibe. We don't want to uh, bash on people. We have respect for people. The noobs of today will be the experts of tomorrow. As simple as that. So noob is not a bad word. It just means you're starting to become an expert, basically. So join, join Arch Linux University if you think ah, that looks uh, that sounds interesting. And if you have, um, well, if there's a possibility to donate, please do so the project continues and the university keeps going all right cheers